Alright, finally getting back into this again. It's been a couple days. Just getting myself refreshed. Don't want to burn out too quickly. Um, something that I find was really cool is um, in this stage select, like, you see these uh, three corners here. This this one doesn't do anything. Uh, but these three corners, uh, stage map and spec. Spec. So it's currently selected stage right now. Um, you can see the, the themes of all the stages, uh, whether they're in a factory, or in a forest, or in more factories, <laughs> uh, over here in the sky, on, like, air fortresses, in the mines, underwater, a lot of cool stuff. Um, but you might not understand who these guys are, um, I mean, we, we know Chill Penguin and Storm Eagle here, but, like, uh, from Sigma, uh, Day of Sigma, but, like, you know, um, you might not understand oh, who, who are these guys. Well, this is where the other two come into play. Um, you go into map, you can see where they are on the in this, I guess, map of the city or world, or I don't know how far this extends. Country. I mean, it really at best it's like a city, considering how big it is. But spec right here will show us all the info about them. His attacks include... okay. Let's, let's, uh, let's go back there. Height, uh, pretty short compared to, let's say, Flame Mammoth. It's uh, a lot more hefty and a lot uh, weight, weightier, you know, weightier. Wait a sec, is he like a ton? Okay, not quite a ton, but like, damn, he's close. Uh, okay. Uh, his attacks include shotgun ice and sliding. How interesting. Alright, I, I still prefer the stage look, if anything, or the map. They, they're both pretty cool. Now that's an awesome remix of the, of the classic Mega Man start music. It's probably one of my favorites. I love the, uh, love the lightning in the background. It's just such a nice touch. So right here, you know, a lot of these obstacles are just to get you acquainted, to, acquainted, yeah, that's that's a word, acquainted with the stages and uh, enemies, and you know, just to get get your foot in the door, as I've said. It just ha it just uh, you know, familiar stuff, nothing too com complex, complicated, whatever the word I was about to say there. Um, but you are going to start to notice that, although it's not a long as hell stage, in fact, this stage is fairly short compared to some other ones, especially later in the series. Uh, you got to be careful of that one. It sort of comes in an awkward time. So does this one. Oh, yeah. And another one. Okay. Yeah, fuck that one. Um, you're going to start to notice that not only is I moving speed a little slow, um... I can barely make a few jumps. I can just barely hang the edge of this wall. Uh, it's not the worst thing. In fact, if you're just a little, a couple pixels away from the wall, like I am about uh, here, a couple of my pixels are colliding with the wall based on, you know, this stance. So I can actually press, press B to uh, wall jump on it, despite, okay, well, you have to be a couple pixels in, one or two. Even though I'm not physically touching the wall as I'm falling, it still counts as being close enough for a wall jump. So here, even though I'm not jumping from the edge, I can I can sort of get about halfway and all right. I'm not I'm not making my point clear. I can get about halfway there and sort of get away with wall jumping. These jumps are are getting kind of. Uh, Kind of difficult. If only there was some kind of power-up that made these easier. Behold. So you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. 
beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, Hex. Oh, Dr. Light's really looking out for us. It's very nice of him. Don't get used to it. He, he gets a little weird later in the series. But right now, he's, he's, he's being pretty nice. He even gets a few ca secret capsules we'll see later on. Oh yeah, now we got the dash. This is uh, what I've been talking about with the uh, with the R button. Um, if you use the A button, then it's kind of hard to uh, do that and shoot, as I've said before. Um, something that you can also do with the dash is double tap left or right. It, it, it's it's pretty responsive. It works okay. Uh, it's kind of awkward though. Like before, I realized how useful the R button was for this. I tried doing that a lot, and it didn't pan out as well. Uh, though for, for wall jumps, you can actually uh, dash wall jump. So this is how far your regular wall jump goes. Just not very far at all. Uh, with the dash wall jump, it's a lot better. Um, though, uh, again, if you're pressing uh, a to dash, you can do that with just A and B, but the, you know, then you'll have to sacrifice being able to hold a, a charge shot or something. Uh, regardless, though, I think it's time we continue. Something that's awesome about the dash is, um, you, your regular, uh, lemon shots, we'll call them, as most people refer to them as, they, uh, they do more damage, uh, most of the time. I, it's, there are some select times where it doesn't, to some enemies, but uh, it generally, it, it's considered a different kind of shot than a regular one, so this one here, just a regular one damage shot, that right there, that's a, that's a charge shot, or it's, 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 sometimes it has the value of a charge shot, it's called, people like to call it a dash shot or a dash lemon, um, I don't really know if charging and dashing increases its power, I, I, I honestly don't know. I just know that it's a lot more noticeable against, say, bosses when you use uh, dash shots. Something that's also cool is if you jump after a dash, any time during this, uh, like while you're in the air after this jump, until you either touch the ground or touch a wall in preparation to, to wall jump off of it, um, you're considered in a dashing state. So any shots here, all of those shots are considered dash shots, and, and that is awesome. Uh, I, I, you know, not to waste too much time, but to give you a demonstration, this uh, ostrich guy right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shots, not, not too bad. Um, dash lemons, one. Okay, this, okay, <laughs> that's not a good example. Uh, dash shots, one, two, Three. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, they do more damage. They they usually do twice as much, but I guess regular enemies they do like maybe three times as much. I don't really know for sure. The actual values are a little bizarre. But yeah, we get some right armor right here. It's kind of awesome, just punching stuff. Just, uh, just punching stuff. You get you get some enemies in their own right armor. They're not like vile. They can just be destroyed. If only these. This was in the intro stage. That'd be awesome. To uh, to get to get out of it, you can uh, oh, you can also dash into two, which is pretty cool. Uh, to get out of it, you just hold up and jump, and there you go. Um, interestingly, and I, I wasn't sure how to structure these videos originally, but I think I'm starting to uh, get more of the hang of it or, or an idea of what to do. Um, these generators right here that trigger these. Uh, fireflies to come out. This one right here actually contains an upgrade we could use. Problem is, we don't have the weapon to to uh, open it with. You need uh, you need another weapon. Thing is, though, in order for you to get everything in this game, you, you will inevitably have to revisit some stage. It is not possible that I that I know of, at least. Not, I don't think even at a task. To, uh, to get every single item 
in every stage the first time because you need some weapons from other stages uh, to uh, to get later ones. Ooh, can I make this? Oh. Yeah. Okay, I didn't even know you could do that. It's kind of cool. So we will inevitably have to revisit this later. I think I'm just going to make a separate video for possible revisits we might have to do. Now I also noticed, uh, even though this is an icy floor, I'm, I'm surprised I hadn't noticed this considering I, you know, play this game all the time. Um, this is an icy floor, uh, apparently, but it's not physically, I there's no, there's no ice physics, it's just a regular floor. That's, that's weird, man. I mean, I got the, the actual snowy floor, because, like, snow can slow you down, or at least be, like, neutral in a lot of games, but, like, this is an icy floor, just do some ice physics with it, I, I don't know. Anyway, it's time for Chill Penguin. His weakness is the flamethrower, or I think that's what it's called. Flame shooter, flamethrower, something along those lines. Well, I would have figured that this would have come in uh, without interruptions, considering I'm making this more of a take. But I already did that entire stage. I'm not. I'm not redoing this. Screw it. Uh, what am I saying about Chill Penguin? Um, his weakness is the flame shooter, flamethrower, whatever the hell flame mammoth's weapon is. I forget the actual term. I think it's just flamethrower. It's kind of kind of a dumb name, honestly. Um, yeah. So, according to the the uh, the character description in the specs, what were what were his two attacks? They said, uh, what was it? Sliding. Okay, we got the sliding part. Uh, shotgun ice. This is not shotgun ice. Uh, that's not shotgun ice. Uh, that's shotgun ice. I don't know why he spits them out, but like whatever. Um, a couple things to say about him. First of all, um, apparently the reason he joined the, uh, Magma, Magma, Maverick and Sigma combined. The, uh, the Maverick Sigma Rebellion, the Mag, I'm calling it the Magma Rebellion, that's actually kind of awesome sounding. Uh, so the reason he joined the Rebellion was because of the incredible complex reason that he was bored and like he doesn't like hanging around the the uh the icy south pole that he's normally accustomed to and he just wants to screw around and the rebellion was a good idea for him to just fuck around and do whatever the hell he wanted uh quite a complex character right there i must admit uh so penguin here is considered one of the easier bosses um while he's doing that attack he took jumps onto the hook there. He'll uh, blow the, the wind either left or right. I think it really depends on how where he's facing when he's, like, hanging on the hook. Um, these statues right here. If he uses the wind attack while the statues are present, the statues will fly towards you, like, along with the wind. So, oh, I thought he was going to go up there and do it. Oh, there we go. Um, if you're if you don't have the dash boots, which at this point it's literally impossible to come here without the dash boots, um, the wind will be too strong for you to just simply walk away from, and you'll slowly be pulled towards whichever direction the wind is blowing. Um, most importantly, though, um, penguins considered one of the easiest uh, mavericks to destroy. I honestly. I would say he's one of the easier ones, but I wouldn't say he's the easiest. I think that one goes to another one. We'll see later. Interestingly, though, most Mavericks tend to have a pattern, especially in X2 and 3. This is more prevalent. Um, a regular shot will do one damage. Uh, a mid shot will also do one damage. A charge shot, the uh, you know the blue shot here, will typically do three. Oh, okay, he was about to slide. Yeah, whenever he's about to slide, he's actually invulnerable, so, uh, ignore that. Uh, yeah, so the, the blue shot usually does three da- or, sorry, blue shot usually does two damage, and a regular shot usually does one damage. In X1 and 2, a dash shot does two damage, whereas X3, dash shots just do the amount of a regular shot, so they actually kind of nerfed it a fair bit. Ooh. I could just kind of jump around here for days. Um, yeah, so Chill Penguin. 
he, uh, not only does he have a pretty simple pattern, if I'm being honest, but it seems like he's more vulnerable to, the, to any of your charge shots than the other Mavericks are. I think that still did two damage, so the, the dash lemons did two damage, as we expect. Um, the mid shot does, I think, also two damage, actually. And a full charge shot does, I think, three damage. Yeah, that, he is uh, he is a little more weak than the other Mavericks. Um, and I spent so much time explaining that, that um, I almost am considering just restarting this recording. Because this is taking so long. I should probably get to fighting him. Let's, let's get around to doing that. Ow. Oh, wow! <laughs> I bumped him into me, and I died. Dying to chill penguin, dude. I fucked around too long. I fucked- I actually screwed around way too long. That never happens. Okay, now, now it's the ultimate test. How much does a charge blue shot do? I, I could not see that. I'm going to have to go in post. It probably just does as much as a regular charge blue shot. Um, but, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm curious, so I'm going to look. Currently has five health. Ow. Stop it. You're being annoying now. All right. Asshole. Okay, that did three. So, same amount as normal. Do a quick charged, uh, or rather dash lemon right there at the end. Finish him off, and end this train wreck of an episode. What a great start to this new format. You get shotgun ice. Kind of reminiscent of the Freeze Cracker from Mega Man 7. Um, it can't shoot in all directions. It's just a forward shot. It's kind of like a regular charged buster shot, if I'm being honest. So with that, Chill Penguin's down. The next Maverick... Uh, the Maverick that's weak to Shotgun Ice is actually... Um, right here, Spark Mandrill. But, if, if I'm going to be honest, he could be kind of annoying. So, rather than take after him, I'm going to go after Storm Eagle. Just to, I guess, round off the uh, Mavericks we saw in, in uh, Maverick Hunter X, I, I guess. So, next time, Storm Eagle. <laughs> 